That for very cast. cold out there. You know, don't forget the gloves, the hat, everything that you need to keep yourself warm if you do have to go out. But we're going to take a look at these top three stories that we're following tonight. Obviously, the weather alert yeah. day. That's number one, your safety, your health. That is a priority. It's something we very much concern ourselves with as a community station. That's why we have these weather alert days to keep you safe. We're also talking about what happened on Interstate 90 in one part of Erie County today. A big shutdown for almost six hours and the ripple effect it had not only on drivers, but truck drivers needing to get to their destination as well. Plus some more good news in the Middle East. More hostages released still one day to go in that ceasefire. The question is, might it be extended? Only time will tell. Let's talk more about this weather. One of the places getting some significant snowfall, the Edinburgh area. Since Monday, it's seen about a foot of snow, and that has made for a very busy day for Washington Township road crews. They were out all day, starting around 3 this morning. Shifts of four people plowing and maintaining 73 miles of roadway. The township manager there says the amount of snowfall not a huge issue. They're used to getting snow. It's the middle of the snow belt. But visibility throughout the day, that was a different story. Some concerns there because of A, the rate of the snowfall, and then B, blowing snow causing other problems. We also want to turn our attention to Interstate 90 in one part of Erie County. It is reopened tonight after it was closed for about six hours. It was at really a standstill from about 1.30 in the morning until it reopened about 7.30 this morning. Uh, truck drivers trips, uh, as you can imagine, they were delayed as they had to sit idle. We talked to officials at Barnhart Trucking in Northeast to kind of get a gauge on what this means for uh, truck drivers who need to get to their destination on time. And uh, they say, yes, they have to prepare for weather and accidents. They're only allowed to drive for so many hours though in a day. When they're sitting for hours, they're losing money. That affects their entire trip. Officials with Barnhart say they do try everything they can to get their drivers off the roads and in safe spots when weather hits. And just a note, too, there were no reports of any serious injuries in that accident along the Girard uh, westbound area of I-90 earlier today.